Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's been a while since I've worked on anything like older, older. Had a gentleman come into the shop uh, a couple weeks ago, dropped off his son's Volkswagen turbo diesel. Turbo went out on it. And he said, you know what? I like the way you talk. I hope it's not just talk. I, I've had this Cadillac Broham with 60,000 miles on it at three different mechanics and they cannot fix it or find out what's going on with the vehicle. And I called a bunch of old timers up that I know that have been in the field for a while in their late 40s, uh, mid 50s. And we all had some ideas, but nobody knew exactly what was going on with this thing. By the way, I explained it. It would start and die, start and die, start and die, and it would just do it over and over and over again. And, you know, you can feather the throttle. You could kind of get it to stay there and stay afloat, stay running, but it wouldn't really stay running. You know, it would just bah, 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 bah. The more you gave it gas to speed things up, the more it would bog down. But if you tap the gas rhythmically faster and faster, you can get the RPMs to go up, 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 up. Someone right. And, you know, everybody had different ideas on what was wrong with it. One guy was saying, oh, maybe it could be the injectors. And I said, I don't think this is the injectors. The injectors are spraying. They're spraying identical. And they both have the same same ohm reading. Uh, maybe the timing's off. I said, yeah, but I tried adjusting the timing and stuff already. It didn't really make it any better. Uh, you know, maybe this, maybe so Something else is going on with this thing. If this doesn't have, and even the old timers were having a hard time because they were like, man, when TBI was around, was a lot of time that was back when we were kids. So it's hard to remember a lot of stuff sometimes from back when we were kids working on the stuff. And now here you are in your 30s and you're just now really starting to get into some of the older stuff. Even though I've worked on some of it before, but now I'm starting to get into it more and more. And I said, you know, it's still an injector at the end of the day. And an injector only opens and closes and if it doesn't have enough pressure behind it, it won't be able to atomize fuel properly. So if it can't atomize fuel properly, it's going to come out in just globs. It's going to bog this thing down. Yeah, it might start, but it's going to just bog right back down the more fuel you give it. Because it can't really atomize when the injector opens and closes because the pressure isn't there. Theoretically, yeah, but eh, is, is that really it, you know? So yesterday, after I got off my live stream, we're talking and we're talking and we're talking. I priced out a sending unit. I, you can get a whole sending unit for it. Uh... I think like 100 bucks or something like that and then you can get the pump for like another 75 bucks a good pump uh and i said you know i don't want to push cheap stuff into this guy's car because this car's like it's mint and he's got another one he's bringing me when this one's done we were all talking i said look we need to we need to put an inline fuel pump down there where that fuel filter goes the fuel filter was like new so they put a inline fuel tester kit down there and it was less than one psi it was like right at one psi or a little bit less so there's no way if that's the case you should be able to pull that that pump uh the, the tester assembly and stuff off of there and hold your finger over it and block the fuel with your finger it wouldn't even push your finger off the line and barely put pressure on your finger as it was pumping it's like oh wow that that's a problem go back there and tap on the tank oh there's only like a couple gallons of fuel in this thing it might be low on fuel put a little bit more fuel in it that wasn't it either I said, well, well, then we need to make our own makeshift pump. Just a cheap $30, $40 pump off the shelf at Autos on O'Reilly in the, in the uh, performance section. Run it into a reservoir of fuel, power on ground, right, clip right into the line with a hose off the other side. They're low pressure, so they're not hard to hold. And uh, let's fire this thing up. Well... 
couple of the guys went out there, they're looking at it, they're looking at it, and they're like, yeah, we could do that. Or one guy says, how, how about this? Let's pop the gas cap. Let's put a rag and stuff around an airline or a, a, a blow gun, and let's blow into this thing. And let's do it that way. Let's actually pressurize the tank to help push fuel through and see if it starts and runs. So see, that's not a bad idea. We do that on diesel trucks whenever we're trying to prime the fuel filters and get the air and stuff out of the system and, uh, you know, just get them running that way. And he takes a uh, air gun and a bunch of rags, fills up the filler neck, starts lightly applying air. The other guy goes to start the vehicle. It's got enough pressure now. It's running on its own. Because now it's able to help get the fuel through there. The fuel pump is bad. If you can't get enough pressure going to the injectors, the injectors aren't going to be able to do their job if you're, if you're not giving them what, they're, what they need supplemented. Simple as that. So, it's one of those things where understanding the system is key. And this type of situation can easily get overthought even by people that have been in the business and worked on them because it's been so long since they've done it they've forgotten a lot of the stuff that they used to know because they're not working on that anymore simply just needs a fuel pump so remember anybody doesn't matter if you're old doesn't matter if you're young can have the same struggles just because you've done it 20 years ago 30 years ago doesn't mean you know how to do it today especially if you're not using it all the time or even often y'all have a great day be blessed